So Mr. Turner was directed by Mike Lee. Extraterrestrial is directed by The Vicious Brothers. Uh, written and directed by The Vicious Brothers. They're real. Uh, they, these are, I think they're Canadian guys, actually. Um, incidentally, their real names are Colin and Stuart, which isn't quite so vicious, is it? <laughs> um, but if you call yourselves The Vicious Brothers, then I think as a viewer, I want those films to live up to the name. They do indeed need to be vicious. Um, it's like with Vin Diesel, isn't it? You don't want Vin Diesel in a in sort of romantic comedy. You want Vin <laughs> Diesel in a car, driving fast and punching people. Um, the Vicious Brothers, unfortunately, haven't quite lived up to their name. Extraterrestrial is a, a story of a group of friends who, in what is not exactly a radical departure for horror films, go to a cabin in the woods. Um, uh, already you're thinking that they should be called the generic brothers rather than vicious <laughs> brothers, I think. Uh, but once in this cabin, this group of guys and, and a couple of girls and three guys, they start experiencing strange things and spotting strange lights. And sure enough, aliens have crash landed. Here's a clip of Extraterrestrial. Have you seen anything out there? No. Whatever was in here, it's definitely gone now. It's it's ninety percent orchestra that clip, isn't it? It's aliens with trumpets. <laughs> the worst kind of aliens. Bad yeah. musician aliens. <laughs> um, okay, where should we go with this? Plus side, because you've seen this as well. I, haven't I you? did see this. Plus yeah. side, I would go with uh, Michael Ironside. Briefly appears in it uh, of of Total Recall and Scanners and mm. Starship Troopers fame, amongst many others. Uh, he plays a local UFO nut. Only in a couple of scenes, but I mean, he is at least he's chewing the scenery, isn't he? At least he's but going he, for it. You know, in, in amongst the cliches, I mean, you know, he comes on, he's, he's got great screen presence, always has. Mm. But as soon as he comes on and he kind of says, kids, I've seen stuff that you can imagine. I was in Vietnam. <laughs> and you suddenly go, oh, he's the crazy guy, yeah. the conspiracy theorist that... He's a stereotype. In, yeah, that you've seen a hundred times before. But... At least, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm really scraping the barrel here, but at least he's a stereotype who who has some acting presence. Um, I think certainly the rest of the cast, who I, I believe are sort of daytime TV actors and things like that, um, just blend into the background. I mean, Although, they have no personality. The, the uh, male lead ostensibly is Freddie Stromer, who's another right. British actor who's in um, uh, some of the Harry Potter films later. Harry Potter yes, he was actually. Yeah. And again, good and, accent. Yeah, and it's not necessarily their fault because you can only work with what you're given. And I think that's the problem with the film is the script's not very good. Actually, visually, it looks quite good. And presumably on quite a low budget, they have used certainly lighting um, very well. Um, so... And the it, opening sequence yeah, promises a lot more than exactly. Delivers, yeah, it's it's, it's just the script that lets it down. And these are clearly people who love horror films, but they seem to have uh, paid homage to their love of horror films by just writing a very cliched horror film, as opposed to taking the tropes of horror films and and maybe twisting them and doing something interesting and, and new with it. What was your thoughts on the alien itself? Without, um, I mean, you know, it's not a huge spoiler. We know there are aliens there. It's called extraterrestrial. The hint's they, kind of in the title, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it looked like uh, the Roswell alien. It looked like a, a child sketch from the 1950s of an alien. That was, that was incredibly disappointing. You kind yeah. of go, murderous alien, oh my goodness. And you've got all these great aliens from before, to, whether it's the Predator or whether it's the alien itself. E.T. Yeah. E. And then suddenly you get kind of, you know, something from the Ant and Deck film <laughs> that's yeah. kind of wandering about. Alien Autopsy. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a surprisingly um, basic and stereotypical alien. But then there are lots of very basic and stereotypical characters in the film. So that's the real problem. I watched it thinking this would be a passable maybe on cable TV. You know, there are science fiction channels on there where they show made for TV science fiction movies that are a bit laughable, but they're just, you know, they are what they are. Um, this is not a cinema film. 